Close to 165 years ago, John Greenleaf Whittier wrote, For all of all sad words of tongue or pen, the saddest are these it might have been. A sentiment that was hammered home last March for both Napoleon and Notre Dame's girls basketball teams as both won their regionals only to see the state tournament canceled. Tonight in Napoleon, they square off in the premier non-conference matchup of the area. Both teams are turning the bulk of their starting lineups for last season. First quarter, Wildcats get off to the quick start off the miss. Kaylee Ressler there for the putback. Home team with the early lead. Ressler 23 to lead her team. Eagles turn up the intensity on defense. Sophomore Dakota Smith with the loose ball. Coast to coast for the lane. Notre Dame in front by three. In the second quarter now, Grace Van Sluten passing out of the double team. Vea Cable, another sophomore for the Eagles, drains the triple. Notre Dame in control up 10 at the half. Third quarter, Olivia Sims forcing the turnover. Ahead to Kendall Braden for the hoop. Eagles stretch the lead to a dozen. But Napoleon rallies in the fourth quarter off the miss. Kelly Helberg from a tough angle gets the bucket to fall. Just a three-point game. But Notre Dame just too much. Grace Van Sluten just too much. She scores 20 of her 28 after the break. Eagles win 58-51, an entertaining game that Mason Lowry had the call for, and he joins us now to break it down. What a pre-Christmas miracle this game was. You have two outstanding teams playing an impromptu mid-December regular season game. Two teams that saw the pandemic and their runs to Columbus prematurely last year. You can't beat it. And in the end, Notre Dame couldn't be beaten. An outstanding performance from Grace Van Sluten, as always. Our first time getting to see her as a junior. A game-high 28 points and countless rebounds and blocked shots and winning plays, including clutch free throws down the stretch to ice it. She was absolutely superb. And on the Napoleon side of things, Kaylee Ressler was terrific in the first half, trying to keep the Wildcats in it. She had 12 of their 15 first half points. And her supporting cast picked it up in the second half. But in the end, it came down to jump shots. Their head coach, Corey Kreinbrink, told me, hey, Notre Dame is so big, so long, so athletic. We're not going to be able to score around the rim. We're going to have to make jump shots. And while they did start doing that in the second half, they had dug themselves much too much of a hole before they started knocking them down routinely. Great win for Notre Dame here on the road at the Grand Canyon and certainly one to savor because with the way the season has gone so far, who knows how many more of these we're going to see. Thank you, Mason. Staying